Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising monthly tarot reading for August 2018 <clears throat> so while I'm shuffling the cards in case you are interested in a private reading with me um, all that you need to know is my website written down below in the description of this video and there you can find the, uh, the full list of the services as well as the pricing for the representative service and just to mention to you guys uh, now a, a summer end sale is going on which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute uh, service so that being said finishing the shuffling here and we're going directly to the spread which is going to be from a, a seven positions tarot spread now the first position here it represents <clears throat> um, past circumstances which are going to influence upon um, upon your month then the second card it does represent the month itself or what the month it will be third card it is showing up for us Scorpius what we can aim for that month what we can go for should we choose to however so highly situational one then the fourth card it does represent the best possible approach toward the topic here the fifth card regards to the attitude of the people which are involved into our situations. The sixth card stands for the um, challenges we need to take on and or we have to cope with. And the last one, it is the final outcome or what is the result of all that. So uh, let's see what we got here, Scorpio, shall we? Now the first one, this is going to be the uh, Knight of Pentacles. I read only with uprights, so probably I kind of like grasp the deck with um, face down. So I read only with uprights. Let's put them all upright. Like this. Is that an upright? Yeah, it's upright. right like that because I use a method called elemental dignities and when you read with elemental dignities you read only upright so knight of pentacles well that card points that based on our performance from the previous month or that we have been very strict very meticulous with our work you know probably some of us have found a, a better way to cope with their daily routines like job like um, <clears throat> like career uh, you know like relationship etc etc and that uh, we have put a, a determination and as well uh, a compassion behind our actions here this is going to have rather more positive impact upon the month that it is yet to come so what this card is all telling us Scorpio that we have done a, a very good job at the month of July uh, regarding you know our undertakings and we should continue on the good work here transferring it into the month of September very important as well with the Knights of Pentacles is that this card uh, accolades uh, in a certain way that we have kept the things very simple and that we had our devotion intact into either our relationship, career or maybe both you know and uh, we need to continue on doing that uh, thing even more now the knight of pentacles the knight is sitting here holding a value wondering how to or rather like um, yeah having a uh, empty field in front of him ready to uh, kind of um, <clears throat> sown that value in there so that value can uh, can grow even in a bigger scale so in other words we can transfer our efforts that we have made into the month of july to september to create even a uh, to achieve even even bigger aims on a greater scale here in the month of uh, of september <clears throat> and the next card which represents what the month stands for that will be the devil card so it kind of broad card to be talked of um, 
in the month of September, we can find ourselves really tenacious, trying to achieve our goal at all costs. And that could be very good for us, but not very good for the people which are surrounding us. And why? Because the devil card, the more tenacious you are towards your goal, the more you are prone to neglect the people around you. So uh, you may find yourself, Scorpio, um, taking advantage of a certain situation for the expense of someone else or of something else. So that card is kind of a reminder here to be very, um, to kind of like, uh, to attend our regard into the, uh, into the all that is happening around us and try to maintain balance, balance in our lives regarding relationships, regarding career, because what could happen here is that your career could find itself very enthralling and you can neglect your relationship entirely for the, uh, <clears throat> for the sake of your career and vice versa. And not that it is very bad, it is just you have to be very aware where what uh, what truly you earn you yearn for excuse me because the devil card gives you the power to chase what what your soul need you know and it gives you the authority it gives you the the drive to do it so but from another hand you know it deprives you from um, <clears throat> How can I place it? It depraves you from realizing the uh, the consequences of your actions here, because uh, when we have that card for a topic, it does speaks that you are may and you will feel yourself almighty, like uh, being uh, unaffected by the consequences, etc., etc. And that itself could provoke um, some fateful events, which further into the future you may find yourself paying for so be uh, what the card says here is that you need to be very mindful how you approach your situation but the very least the month is very promising for you to establish a a goal of your liking a goal of your yearning because this is what the devil is all about you know uh, achieving the, the 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 deepest dream of our existence <clears throat> So it will be a good start of the month to start thinking about, you know, what you really want in order to feel yourself fulfilled. There is, this isn't about happiness, this isn't about miserability here, it is all about what you need and you have to define that thing for yourself because some of us may find ourselves baffling what we truly need, you know, to feel ourselves fulfilled. As I said, not happy, but fulfilled. These are two different things. Uh, and then we do have what well, additionally we can go for here. This is going to be the Four of Swords. So that is something, um, that is the outlook for the future. Something we can do, something we can go for, or we can totally neglect. So uh, this comes as a... Um, <clears throat> obviously resting here because the four of swords is about finding peace it is a about very thoroughly thinking uh, rethinking our positions our strategies as well sharing them with a faithful companion uh, if you do have any around you so it's all about deliberating upon our actions here which uh, tremendously is going to help with the potent energy that you are going to have here that the pro that the month gives you of the devil card and if you go for the four of swords in other words hold your horses a little bit you know think that uh, maybe you um maybe you aren't seeing the, the the clear picture here asking for a second opinion this is all what the card suggests here so you can the very the very least be aware of what you truly feel about the situation about your partner about the project the job you know about a friend of yours because with the devil card your emotions will be a total mess for what I can say, one day you may feel extremely happy, or the other day you may feel very miserable from the situation. So you can't rely to make judgments and decisions based on what you feel inside. So you have to be very balanced. You need to be very humble about, uh, about your situations. And that could be achieved by asking a second opinion. And if you think that um, <clears throat> the situation is way too much to handle for now, uh, then uh, this card uh, gives you um, 
a place of solace and a place of, uh, of sheltering. So you can very well withdraw yourself and, uh, and find yourself in a company, as I said, of a f uh, faithful uh, companion here, which uh, will make basically the current troubles that you may have on your mind disappear through the deliberations and the mean meaningful thoughts. Uh, talks, excuse me, conversations that you are going to have with them. For those who doesn't have faithful companions, then that card stands for a, a shrink or a advisor. So if you don't have anybody to share with your burdens, uh, mentally I mean, then uh, you have to seek a, a professional help about it. And then the best possible approach toward the situation, which is the devil card, that will be the page of wands. And what I mean in between shrink and, and uh, financial advisor, for example, I meant a professional help. For example, if you do have problems in your relationship and you cannot find the middle ground here, which the devil kind of suggests because, you know, you are going to be more prone to, to demand what you want, <clears throat> then that card will stand for a couple's therapy, you know, or... Obviously, if you are baffling how to invest, then this is going to be standing as a financial advisor. So basically, this card asks you to seek for a help, second opinion, doctor maybe as well, etc, etc. But the page of wands here as, <clears throat> as a uh, card standing for what is the best possible approach to all the situation, uh, it kind of stands for... Um, it's very difficult to be explained really. Uh, let me gather my thoughts. Uh, first of all, it stands for uh, a, a personal push and personal drive. So, in other words, even though you have to collect different opinions, uh, the material help should not be involved in the situation. So, whatever you do, you have to do it on your own, but that doesn't mean you need to deprive, deprive yourself from a foreign advices. Also, the page of wands stands for uh, uh, information as well, sometimes, you know, and that information in, in this particular sense for the page of wands, it is the information from the most meaningless conversation conversations or from the most meaningless text texts etc etc so it's kind of like you need to be capable to read um, between the lines here and uh, if it comes to activity then the page of one stands for exper uh, experimenting and trying one to detach themselves from strings and from dependency as the page of wands is very miserable when it's depending on somebody all right so um, <clears throat> let me give you that scenario you're working you do have uh, the grasp or you can have the grasp upon uh, the project you truly want, you know, which stands for the devil, you have worked for it here with the Knights of Pentacles. And suddenly your boss, it's obstructing you. So you depend on your boss, here where the page of uh, wants hit, where you're feeling yourself oppressed, not very well, under your boss because maybe a couple of reasons, either your boss doesn't want to work, what doesn't want you to work upon that project, or they want you to work, but, um, opt but adopting a, a different approach, different strategy from the one that you do want to. So what the page here points is that you have to do it on your own, or rather like you need, you have to give uh, place hope into those activities which depends entirely only and singularly on you Scorpio. If the activity depends on someone else, then you are going to experience the bad side of the devil card, which is oppression, which is dominions, you know, which is um, being compelled or succumbed, should I say, to be to do to uh, to do someone else's bidding. And uh, afterwards, we do have the card how the people are going to take it on you. What will be uh, the attitude of the people surrounding the situation? That will be the Ten of Cups. And, and they will quite understand you here. So the Ten of Cups, when it comes to people around you, it is about people who are um, giving you an easy time, should I say that way. So um, it does look like that... Uh, as I said, you are going to uh, face not just only an understanding, but as well with the Ten of Cups, uh, you will face as well a, a helping hand from these people. The very least, they are going to uh, try to create an environment for you where the troubles you may face for the duration of the month will seem less severe. 
uh, <clears throat> and as well people will try to cheer you up. Um, Ten of Cups is the card pointing that uh, one always strives for more so maybe uh, that could be regarding that the people involved in your situation may expect a little bit more from you than you are showing but with the Page of Wands as I said um, <clears throat> as it is a card of initiation and it is a card of newness and it is a card of a new beginning also a card of, in, of uncertainty here that means that your potential is uncertain so you can definitely um, <clears throat> Um, you can definitely prove your worth here and meet the expectations that these people do have in you but uh, <clears throat> the interactions with those people also will, will make you to regain back the faith that there is still goodness in mankind and the next card shows the difficulties or the predicaments that you are going to face for the duration of the month that will be the four of wands and this is going to be a difficulty to finalize a, a very important cycle um, of development in your life but that doesn't mean that you want to this is just the difficulty here something that you need to put an extra hard work into you have to put an extra toils behind so uh, <clears throat> That important cycle could regard your career, it could, it could regard your relationship, but the very reason why this cycle may not be able to be finalized, it is because uh, some important matters or, or some important matter has been overlooked and that's why you need to make a, a second exam upon your current uh, actions, upon your current uh, performance as well and basically try to analyze every single piece of the work that you have done because maybe you have missed something and this is the very reason why you are trying so hard here to obtain the thing of your wishing either you know the relationship of your dreams the project of your dreams but it isn't working out uh, every time when you are ever so close to do it something happens and it push you back a, a couple of steps and this is due to the fact that you have overlooked a, a very important matter here which obstructs you of finishing that cycle of development and at the end Scorpio uh, we do have the eight of swords which is how you're gonna wrap this one up so we do have the uh, the eight of wands which actually in your case even though I am a Scorpio you know and uh, you may think that I am affected you know because I am a Scorpio but this card in that case it's rather toward the positive the, toward the positive end which kind of speaks that you will quite narrow your uh, your goals and your aims so um, in other words you will find the best possible strategy here how to chase them and that will render your options available very limited or should I say the right options available for you very limited now this card comes very negative for those who are open-minded those who are prone to have different activities versatility into their lives and to uh, to lead as well crazy lives etc etc because this card points that they will be settled down by a certain circumstances having to accomplish the goal uh, a certain goal or a certain responsibility before you actually start exerting uh, versatility you know and um, amusement into their lives but those who have a steady routine you know those who are used to have the same day over and over again this is a, a very positive card because that speak that a, a certain code of conduct will be established a certain pattern will be uh, <clears throat> will be settled settled down and you Scorpio only thing that you have to do is just work on that pattern but this card also uh, affect communication so you need to know that the people may not quite understand what you're talking about here <clears throat> therefore um, you have to be extra elaborative when it comes to an explanations toward your boss toward your partner toward your friends etc etc um, so um, giving up a, a silent treatment is not going to help you out but just on the contrary 
So uh, that being said, Scorpio, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for September 2008. Uh, very broad one. It could uh, affect any single field of your life. Although I do suspect, looking at it that way, it will be more prone to your career than to than to your relationship. Or I hope so, because if it is about relationship, you have to uh, expect some ups and downs there with a, a severe magnitude in between. <clears throat> so yeah, that being said. In case, again, the guys that you are interested in a private reading with me, everything that you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.